In this video I'm going to show a couple of ways of putting an acid style portamento on a melody line coming from the Surge TKB sequencer. I've set up a sequence of eight steps on row D of the sequencer. It's made of four pitches, it jumps down an octave in the first two steps, and then it goes a semitone up on the third step, and then an augmented fourth up on the seventh step. So it sounds like this if we play it by play it manually. To get a portamento effect on these notes, the obvious way is to put the output from row D into the in portamento input of the new timbre oscillator. This input is made for the purpose of giving portamento. However, if we set up a certain degree of portamento, using the VC port knob, it will cause the same amount of portamento in both the upwards and downwards directions when jumping between pitches. For acid style portamentos it might be that we want to have the portamentos on different notes in different directions. To achieve this I suggest using a second row of the sequencer, which is row C in my case, uh, to control the amount of portamento in different directions. So I plug that into the VC port input. Now I can use row C, I can use this knob for example in row C to control the amount of portamento. I'll, I'll set the portamento knob at a little bit more So now I've got a little bit of portamento on the step following the octave leap and a little bit of portamento on the step following the knob that's the augmented fourth. And so I get only portamentos in the downward direction. If I wanted also a portamento in the upward direction, I would have to use some value on the pot that is aligned with the note which it, where it, where it, where the portamento should go up. I'm going to keep it with just the downward portamentos for the moment. Uh, this effect is nice, but it might be even nicer if we could have this same portamento glide to control a filter as well. This would get as much closer to the kind of acid sound you get from a TB-303. Unfortunately, there's no output of the voltage that we can use straight from the oscillator post-portamento. We need to create the portamento effect outside the oscillator. An obvious place to look for that might be the universal slope generator, but my suggestion is that you use the smooth function generator instead. On my surge, that's up here. I'll take the output of row D and I'll pass, pass it through the input of the smooth function generator and take the output of the smooth generator to control the new timbral oscillator. Now I can use the one volt per octave. And now this knob is the one that's giving us portamento. I'll set it to the far right. I'll take the output from row C, which is controlling the amount of portamento, into the first input of a dual processor. 
and I take the output of a dual processor to the voltage control of the smooth function generator. That's going to, cost, that's going to control the amount of portamento on each step. Note that I've got this knob on the dual processor fully to the left because we want to cause a big deviation in the slew. We want this smooth function generator to slow down by quite a lot. And I go back to setting my portamento knobs on row C. to the right amount. And I get back to the same situation I had with the portamento input. But the advantage now is that I can use this portamento voltage to control a filter as well. I'll put it into the uh, voltage control of the filter frequency. And I'll pass my oscillator signal through the filter, so I use the low pass, resonant low pass of the filter. I'm going to use this same voltage also to control the pitch of a sub oscillator to give a bit of extra spice. I think that's two octaves below the... So now I've got the filter sweep, which I can also, of course, control by hand. But it's tracking the portamento. So we get a little bit nearer to the TB303 kind of sound. This patch should be possible to do on more or less any synthesizer with the style of sequencer that is in the surge and using two different rows, one for controlling the portamento. As long as you've got a module that you can do the portamento outside the oscillator. 